Welcome to the Daily App Show, iPhone edition. Today we're going to take a look at iDiscreet. Now this application allows you to store pictures, videos, text files, and other stuff in a discreet way because it locks it and hides it within the application. So when you just saw me open up the application, I tapped on a blank screen. Basically, what you do is you go into your settings and you turn on your protection settings. You could turn this on or off and you set up a touch sequence. And so we have this screen here and it's going to say loading in the middle to kind of make you feel like it's loading. And then you have this touch sequence that you'll have to follow. And you can do it in any order. I could do A, H, F, C, you know, just in that sequence and then I have to touch the screen in that sequence. ABC, let's just go ahead and save that. You set the timeout to three seconds which means it's going to pretend to load for three seconds before it goes to another screen. And then there's a reset code here uh, as well. So let's go ahead and hit save again and let me exit the app and go back into it. Now if I don't enter in anything within three seconds, it's going to go to this notes screen right here and just kind of pretend like we are entering a note into a note application. So it, it doesn't do anything. Like you can type, you can delete, you can hit return, nothing happens here. This basically is the equivalent of being locked out. So we just exit the application, tap on the icon again, do our our uh, password and then we have our content. Alright so let's take a look. We've got some pictures that I've stored in here. I can of course go and just view these pictures just as if you would. These are pictures of my little boy and so I can also email this or export these photos to my camera roll or I could play a little slideshow. We also can do videos view videos that we've recorded on our device and then also input text. We can create text right here from within this app or we can add content and in any of these categories we can add content simply by tapping on whatever section is that we want to add content to. We can type add content and then we go to a web browser. Your iPhone must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the computer that you're going to but as soon as you get this web browser loaded up, you can upload images, uh, text files, videos, uh, documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoints, PDFs, all kinds of stuff. So as you see here in the text section, I have a little, just a sample text that I created in the app. And then I also have a couple of PDFs that I had uploaded. These are scanned PDFs. And then I also created a, another folder with some photos that I took from the uh, Amgen bike tour of California. It's very easy in here to create a new category. I could simply hit manage and I can edit the current categories. I can create a new folder or I can just simply add new content. So I could type a new folder name in here, create a new folder to add content to. I can simply add content and upload it from my computer or from my camera roll as well. Now I have the option to select multiple images. You can see here that it's selecting several images when I go and tap on them and then it would add those images. That is an option in settings to do that. So that's called multiple selection, allowing more than one image to be transferred from camera roll. So when you do select that, it takes a little bit longer for those images or different things to be transferred to this application, but it definitely saves you time if you're trying to add a lot of items. So if you get lost, there's an instruction section right here that really helps. The launch screen, the uh, protection screen, was a little confusing to me at first, but I understand why it works the way it works now. It's very cool. It's definitely discreet. So I think you're really going to like iDiscreet. If you're looking for an application to discreetly save stuff in this app, of course, this is one of several apps that allow you to privately save stuff. 
but I think what's unique about this application is, of course, that protection settings that they have here uh, with that timeout, and then, of course, being able to have these multiple different items in here, I think, uh, within one application. Not only does it do photos, it does text, it does videos, it does PDFs, it does PowerPoints, and those are the things that sets this app apart from its competition. So definitely check out iDiscreet in the App Store today.